you have a bot and now you want to send the first trading signals to it and you don't want to wait too long to do that, we have a test strategy for you that buys and sells every one minute. So go to the link that is provided below this video and click on add to favorites in TradingView. And then you go to your TradingView chart. And then let's make sure that you have the same settings as I have here on my chart. First of all, go to the Bitcoin USD index chart, search for Bitcoin USD, and then take the index one, click on it, and then make sure to be on the one minute time frame. click on one minute. If you don't have it there, then click on this arrow and then one minute is here. And the reason for that is because the strategy buys in one minute and sells in the next minute, right? And that makes it easy for you to get signals into your bot very quickly. You don't have to wait for long. This is how you can test your connection between TradingView and Signum and your exchange, right? And now click on indicators here on the top. And because you added this one to your favorites, the signal tester, you can now click on it once and add it to your chart. And make sure that your chart is visible nicely, not like this, you won't see much, right? So double click the Y axis here, and also maybe zoom in here by just scrolling up with the mouse, okay? So you can see exactly the chart as I can see it here. And as you know, I do not like all this information on the chart, it's a bit too much. So here in the strategy tester, which opened up also on your side automatically, if it did not open up, you can find it here on the bottom, strategy tester, and you can see this is the signal tester strategy. It doesn't make money, right? This is just for testing. And then click on the settings and simply remove in the style tab here, simply remove signals labels and quantity and then the chart looks a bit more clean and as you can see here it tells us to add an alert now to get the signal sent to signum and by the way if you are on the wrong time frame let's say you're on the one day or four hour chart or anything else than a minute it will tell you here please switch your chart to the one minute time frame right so it will tell you so if that is the case then make sure to click on the one minute time frame here on the top again if you don't have it yet in your favorites here then simply click on this small little arrow down and then find the one minute time frame and click on it there so the next thing to do is to create an alert for this particular strategy which will buy on one candle you see here is a buy signal the blue arrow and will sell on the next candle there is no logic to this it's just for testing right as you can see here it was buying here right the blue arrow and then it was selling here the pink arrow right it's buying selling buying selling it's all the time alternating between buying and selling and that makes it very easy for you to see if your integration works so now click on the add alert button here next to the strategy's name and now you need to fill in the name the message and as well, you need to put in the webhook URL that leads to Signum. Let's do that now. Go to the settings and let's put the name and the message. Now in Signum, I scroll down and I simply copy the name from here, copy paste it into this field. Go back to Signum, copy the message, put it here. And now click on notifications, go back to Signum and copy the webhook URL and paste it here. Then click create. To see your alert, go to the alert panel here on the right side, click on that, and you see that your alert has been created over here. You can also see the message if you hover over with the mouse. You can see the strategy name, the chart, the time frame. Everything is here. You can edit this alert anytime to change stuff and then simply click save to save that. And if you want to see alerts that have been already triggered, then simply go over to the logs here. And you can see we have two alerts already triggered for this particular strategy, meaning that Signum has already received two of those. So as you can see here, this was for buying and this was for selling, right? So now I can go back and really pause this alert because I have reached what I wanted. I sent signals from TradingView to Signum. Now let's go back to Signum and see what happened there. Over in Signum, I will scroll all the way down and click on refresh logs because then I can see what happened over here. So as you can see here, Two alerts have been triggered, one, and this is the second one. Why are two line items here? Simply because the first line item is to get the acknowledgement that the signal arrived in Signum, and the second one is the execution of that trade. So the signal arrived, then it tried to execute the trade. I did not have enough money on this account. It's just a test account. But for you, it should work if you have the funds that you basically 
told the trading pair here to use. So if you have USDT and there is a buy signal, then it will convert USDT to Bitcoin. And if you have Bitcoin and there is a sell signal, it will convert Bitcoin to USDT. In this case, I have zero USDT and just a little bit of Fetch AI. This is just a test, right? But for you, it should work. So those are the exact two alerts that have been triggered and arrived in Signal. Now, if those trades would work out, obviously, then I can go to my exchange. In this case, it is connected to my Bybit account and I can check if it actually worked out and it really bought and sold. If that all worked out, then your connection is correct and you have done the right thing. And in that case, the next thing you can do is to go to the actual time frame you want to use and to really turn on the strategy that you want to use. Now, if you want to use the Gaussian channel strategy, which I'm talking about a lot on my YouTube channel, then basically go to the one day time frame on the Bitcoin chart to the Bitcoin USD index, the same one we used before for testing. The difference is that now we are on the one day chart, right? You see here, I chose the one day chart. And again, I do not like these messages on the chart. It's a bit too much. So let's get rid of them. And here you can see the strategy actually works quite well on Bitcoin. And if you want to automate this strategy with this bot that we have just tested with, then you simply go ahead and you create an alert for this particular strategy. And you can see also that it shows you that this is the chart on the one day with this strategy here, right? And now you can copy the same messages because you want to trigger this bot, right? And now it becomes a proper trading bot, right? That actually has the proper strategy and sends the signals to Signum. Now, if I click create, and I will do that now, then I have the actual trading integration that I need for this bot for Bitcoin. Now I have to put Bitcoin or USDT here, depending on what's going on. So let's check the strategy. If I zoom in here into the chart, I see that the last signal was a sell signal, right? So now the next signal will be buying. So I have to have USDT ready because the buy signal will take the USDT and convert it to Bitcoin, right? So, okay, cool. So that's what I will do if I want this strategy to actually execute on my chart. Now let's go to the alert panel and check out our alert. Now, this time this alert is the proper one because it's on the one day time frame, as you can see here, it has the same message it has the same title and everything, but now because it's on the one day chart and because it is the actual strategy I want to use, as you can see here on the one day chart, it makes money, right? But if I take this particular strategy and I put it on the one minute, it doesn't make money. And also it doesn't trade very often. So I would have to wait quite long for this test signals to arrive. So that's why when I'm testing, I'm using the tester, right? Because I get a lot of signals, but then when I use the actual strategy on the with my actual money, really, then I choose the best time frame for the strategy I'm using. Now, you can see from four hours, it starts making money, this particular strategy. On the one day, it makes even more money. On the two days, it makes less money. On the five day, it makes less money. So of course I will choose the one day because it makes most of the money with a considerable risk. Okay, so this is how you can test sending signals from TradingView to Signum the fastest way possible with the tester strategy. Okay, so check it out and make sure that you get your first trade in Signum because that is how you actually get started to get a trade that works. And from then on out, you can start actually automating any strategy you like. So good luck with that. If you have questions, we have a support channel here in Telegram. Click on your icon here and go to get support in Telegram and join us there. If you have questions, we are always there for you. See you there. Good luck. Bye bye.